It is a nightmare for some Central Texas families. Finding out their most vulnerable loved ones lived in what some people describe as deplorable conditions. Today, more allegations against 45-year-old Renee Segura and her unlicensed assisted living facility called God's Blessings. Serious problems were initially reported last Friday, but as KXAN's Phil Prazen reports, these new details are even more concerning. And I just remember thinking to myself, this, this, whoever runs this place is no different than the slum lord. Alan Vestal describes his brief stay at God's Blessings. And there was only uh, two, um, two bathrooms for all the people in here. In this whole building? Yeah, one on this end and one on this end. He says he was recommended by nearby Cedar Crest Hospital, only to find 40 to 50 people crammed into this now abandoned building. According to him, they were barely fed, and the facility didn't have basic supplies. He had to borrow another patient's glass to get a drink of water. Oh my God, my poor brother has no water. It was, it was just, it was gut-wrenching. His sister says she received a text from him and came to get him out. There's a wide range of complaints, anything from basic disrepair. Uh, here's a log holding up an AC unit, but there's more serious charges. Records show the attorney general's office is looking into allegations of abuse, neglect, and even possible sexual assault. Inside, only bed frames remain next to doors with no handles, only locks. You came here for help, right. and then they took advantage of you. Oh, yes. That's exactly what happened. Alan and Ginger said before Renee would let him leave, he had to pay $50 for his own driver's license, and Renee shredded his paperwork. So this was supposed to be temporary, but I guarantee you I'd be here for 10 years unless someone rescued me. In Belton, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The CEO of Cedar Crest Hospital in Belton tells KXAN he's looking into the situation. Neither Belton police nor Austin police have charged Segura with anything criminal. The state attorney general's office and the Department of Aging and Disability Services are investigating civil crimes for now. Segura is expected in court on August the 27th. Many aging Texans need assisted living services, and the cost forces some people to turn the unlicensed to unlicensed homes to get that care. The the average cost of assisted living in Texas is more than $3,500 per month, and it is higher in Austin, averaging more than $4,100 each month. The Texas Department of Aging and Disability Services offers programs to help, but funding is limited and many end up on waiting lists. Earlier this year, lawmakers made some reforms to the Department of Aging and Disability Services as part of its sunset process. There was an attempt to close the Austin State Supported Living Center and start a commission to consolidate and possibly close others around the state. On the floor, San Antonio Democrat Trey Martinez Fisher called a point of order, and in the negotiations, those provisions were stripped out of the bill.